Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Schneeva Early, your craft doctor. And I'm here with a video um, with uh, a haul that I got from Tattered Lace. Um, it's a UK company. First of all, I want to start out with the USB. This Tattered Lace USB um, is Tattered Lace Best of for 2020. Um, and it has the different collections that was featured last year or early this year um the one thing about this uh best of that i don't like is that when you purchase a kit like i did the manor garden the best of has it on it so i bought all of these dies and the paper um that goes with it which is this, all of these, and it's on this USB. So it's good in one aspect because if I'm strictly a digital content person, this works wonderful because it has it all on here. But for the fact that I spent the money to buy that, not happy. But that's okay. I have three other kits that I would not have had, so I'm going to chalk it up to experience, and I'm going to wait for the best of to see if the kits that I like is on there. So that's the first thing. The second thing is this new system that Tattered Lace has. It's called Select, and they brought it out in, during their eighth anniversary on Create and Craft. So they're all the same type of thing so I'm just gonna show you what it looks like um, as opposed to unwrapping all three of them okay so it's called the select so it's an embossing folder they're all three embossing folders but the difference is when you open up this embossing folder you can drop in or select the die you want to cut so I can put this in here and it's a groove uh, that's upside down. You know, that was right. Yeah, that was right. Okay, it's a groove that this die fits in. And see that? Once you put it in that groove, it'll only cut out or it'll cut out where you want it to. So you select what you want to cut. So it's, there's four cutting dies. So if I say, oh, this is so gorgeous, I love this, and I want to cut out this and the middle one, it's going to emboss. And I cut my paper just big enough. It's going to emboss it, and it's going to cut it out. What's different between this and cutting embossed dies? The ability for me to select which one of those dies and where I want it to cut. That is what the difference is. So I'm putting this in, taking this piece off. This is my cutting mat. If you remember, I bought that crap, uh, um, cutting mat self-healing. This is still that same piece. I'm using it. Works fabulous. I just actually purchased another one so I can use in my Gem Gemini because that little clear piece is always warping, that little frosty piece. So I bought another one to go in my bigger machine, but this still works like a charm. But look at this. I want to show you this. This is a good, fabulous new thing that they're doing the because the creating embossing stuff is not new but selecting what you want to emboss is the new part so now i cut this out so now i have a texture you see that texture my lights are up and now i have this piece uh, let me see this piece here that is embossed i think this is wonderful you see that embossing and so it not only cut it out but it cut it out in the spaces that i wanted to cut 
and it embossed. And it shows you on here all the different ways that you can cut. So that was this one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So then I want to take this other die. And I want to slip it in here. And all you do is kind of push it into the place where it needs to go. And once you do that, put your paper in, face down. And close your embossing folder. So this technology technically is not new, but the way you do it is new. The way you get this embossing to be so beautiful is the new part. Where you can select what you want to cut out. See that? Beautiful. Beautiful. But and look on the back how gorgeous and deep that embossing really is. That's nice. So just think of this is a matte, nice matte layer. Beautiful. And that's that inner piece, remember? That's that inner piece. And so these are the new select dies um, that I just got in today from Tattered Lace, from my Create and Craft order. I think this is a beautiful system that is going to work um, wonders. And I'm sure they're probably going to add on and make more of this type of thing. So that's embossing and cutting all in one pass. And now you can select which parts you want to cut. Now this one same embossing folder gave me these three pieces. And then this is just three options that I have. Isn't that fabulous? That is really wonderful. Okay, also I want to show you. Um, something that I was working on yesterday, um, I, I told you I switched cameras and in my switching of my cameras, um, I've been having glitches with my software, but I did a video that was like an hour long yesterday and found out it was messed up, but I want to show you what I made. I made these cards yesterday. Um, and this is that, um, Spellbinders kit. So I made that one. I created this one, which is one of the Ocean Breeze. I created this one, which is another one of the Ocean Breeze. I created this one, which is a decoupage one from Anna Griffin. I created this one, which was another one from the Ocean Breeze. So I did three of our series. And then I created this one that was an epic fail. And I really wanted y'all to see this one because it was such an epic fail. It, it's supposed to be a twist and pop that failed on me. See, and it's weird because it works now, but it won't, it don't work. But I really wanted y'all to see this mistake because you know I like to leave my mistakes in. But it's a beautiful card. It's just the twist mechanism did not work. Um, and I wanted to show you how to correct it. But I'll work on this to do this again. Um, but these are the cards that I made on yesterday. And I'm sad that you did not get a chance to see the video for it. I really am. I'm sad you did not get a chance to see the video for these. So. Okay. So. Um, my next video, I'm going to be working on, I'm trying to get that Creating Craft USB to work. It's not printing right, and I don't know why yet, so I'm working on that. And I'm working on some of the Crafts You Print printing, so I can do some cards from that. So I will see you in the next one.